thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell that pops up. Uh, that will give you notifications whenever I post something new. Today I am going to show you how I painted this beautiful purplish, because it's kind of a combination between my Violet Pansy, which is a multi-surface paint, and my Magenta, which is also a multi-surface paint. And then I threw in some Wicker White, which is the Folk Art Enamel. All of these are Folk Art paints. Center is created with my Real Brown, multi-surface paint, and then Teddy Bear Brown, which is multi-surface paint. Leaves are created with the Citrus Green, which is the enamel paint, and the Thicket, which is also the enamel paint. So this little gloss, I went shopping today and I found some different glosses to paint. I was headed to get my normal uh, Libby gloss, red, white, red wine glasses and white wine glasses and ran into some different glasses and I thought, you know what, instead of doing those, I'm going to just throw another twist and this is actually an 8 ounce red wine glass, so it's a small glass, but I just think, look how pretty that is. I just think as opposed to handing a guest this glass, why not serve them red wine with this glass? Just a nice little touch. So anyways, I am going to show you how I painted these. This is a new product that I, it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, came with a four piece set. It's called Downtown Collection by Circle Wear. And again, I normally deal with the Libby Gloss, so this is just something different for me and just happened to buy it because I, I saw it and thought it was something and a little change to offer you. So let's get started. The brushes I'm using today, I'm sorry, I'm going to touch my camera and I'll probably start wiggling again. I do try to stabilize it. I'm going to be using my flat brush, which is a number 12, uh, the one stroke brushes by Plaid. My trusty fine line brush from Westonia, which is a nail brush nail, like fingernail brush. A round brush, number 8 by Princeton Art and Brush Company. And then one of my new little friends, the, uh, um, I guess it's called a stipple brush. Gloss Art by Dynasty, number 77. I use this for my center of the flowers. And then my clay ball tool, which I use for making dots. Alright, so I started out this design by double loading my flat brush with the Thicket and the Citrus Green. Again, if you're familiar with my painting style, I do some one stroke and then some other types. I'm, I'm trying to learn different, different types of painting. So this one is going to be double loaded with the combination of the two. I'm going to go around the glass and just sporadically make these little little leaves so that they're basically the background of the glass or I'm sorry the background of the design I just did that wrong alright so let's fix that a little bit I'll go over it here again sorry about that alright so I'm going to do that kind of how my day has gone. Hopefully your day has gone better. Although it could be worse. But like I said, I'm just going to go around and just sporadically place these leaves. You know what, I think I'm going to add some clean. Because basically I did that design and then now I'm doing the video. Alright, now I've said in my previous video, if you have any ideas of things that you would like to see me create, I would love to hear from you. 
I am trying to to come up with some different ideas it's just hard when you're trying to produce a lot of videos to come up with uniqueness and I really really want to offer you something that's a little bit different than what other people are doing so any ideas would be welcome please make sure that you share them down in the comments because I definitely would love to hear from you if you like the video that I'm doing make sure you give me a big thumbs up when the video is over and share 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 the video with everybody that you can because I would love to um, have the help in growing my channel I'm trying you know basically when I have have a uh, as close as I can I guess have one flower in the front one flower in the back of the glass if possible now with the glass being so small I guess it's you know really it's kind of not going to be too hard to do just have some excess water in here because I did clean my glass I always try to make sure I, I say this at the beginning make sure that you do dry your well, wipe, wash off your glasses before you paint them to make sure that they are clean. You also can do that with rubbing alcohol to make sure that all the fingerprints and any kind of uh, you know oil from from bodies and that kind of thing, you know, like our fingers, that kind of thing. Are washed off because that'll allow the, the paint to adhere better to your glasswork. All right, now I will continue to add some more leaves once I paint the design. I'm just trying to get some of these down right now just to uh, fill the glass a little bit before we start painting the design. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a hair dryer so I can get it to dry before I put. Well, it won't be completely dry, but get it to dry some before I put the uh, flower petals on. Okay, the next step I'm going to do, and if you can see my plate here, I'm going to start doing the flower petals with the magenta and the violet pansy. So I'm just taking my brush, and this is the round brush, and just putting it in in the paint. And then this is where I'm going to put the first flower and sorry I'm trying to adjust my camera here a little bit now this is where I'm going to put the first flower in here where I have the little bit of an open space I'm trying to stabilize my camera I'm sorry I don't actually have it on it well I do actually have it on a stand but it's hanging so that it's over my work but sometimes I get this awesome twist that makes people nauseated so I'm sorry about that that definitely is not my intent to make people have a hard time watching the videos so I'm sorry that I'm trying to get it to stop swaying alright so I'm going to go around with this flat brush with a combination of the two paints and there you see my leaf is not completely dry so when you hit it with a heat gun it's not going to be completely dry it's just going to dry it in some spots, especially if the paint is heavy. So like on my leaves in the center, I tend to have a tendency to have more paint. So the outer parts would be drier to touch than the inside parts. But this is such an easy flower, but pretty. I think it's very pretty. Say so if you're a glass painter and you've joined me today, give me uh, an idea of what your favorite glass paint is to use down in the comments below. Mine, as you probably can guess, is the Folk Art products, and that would be both the enamels and the um, what I want to say the 
multi surface. It's funny how they lose my train of thought. All right, so I'm just basically just easy stroke, just kind of going into the paint, going around, and making the strokes. Like I said, it's just. I do this, and I try to men mention this in my videos, my intent is to create designs that are very easy for people to do. That it's something that if you're wanting to create these on your own, very easy to do so. And it also makes you familiar with my work, that if you don't want to create on your own, then you can actually buy them from me. And I do provide links to... Um, my my uh, sites down below. Well, like I said, I'd love to hear from you if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see me do, because it is it's very hard to come up with new ideas all the time and, and things that you want to see. You know, that's the thing is I want to know what you want to see. I mean, I can do the glass painting all the time, but I can also paint on other surfaces, too. It doesn't have to be glass. Glass is my favorite. And of course, there are a lot of other, other items that are glass that would be fun to paint on. I mean, if you were to do vases or uh, flower pots, even. If you were to do... I know I like, I like lanterns. I love lanterns. And there's so many. The store I went to today has so many different ones. Someday when I don't babysit my grandchildren anymore, I definitely want to have lanterns on my fireplace. I used to have an old birdhouse. I think it was an antique actually, but ended up getting rid of it because they just would not would not leave it alone. And I didn't want anybody to get hurt by it. So if I put lanterns on my, my fireplace hearth, I'm sure that would really attract them. And they would, with them having a lot of them have glass in them, that would not be a good combination. So we shall wait. But yeah, you can just see how easy this is. Just so easy. And pretty. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be hard in order to be pretty. You know, and if you do this, you go over it with the white and you feel like you've lost the color scheme that you were trying to go for, no need to, to wash it off. Just add some more of the other color. Like I could put, say, a pink in here if I wanted to, or I could put some purple in here if I wanted to. It's fine. You just can go, you know, just layer it. That's all you have to do is just layer it. I happen to like the color scheme, so it's good. All good. All right, so I'm next I'm going to use my fun little stipple brush, and I'm going to take, so there's a longer part in front here. Well, I guess it doesn't mean that it's in front, but longer part and a, a shorter. So I want the longer part to have the darker too, and I can just go ahead and, and put this, actually put this, on without double loading a color if I didn't want to. But then I like the the lighter brown to be towards the bottom. So that's what I'm putting on right now. And again I can put them on both at the same time. Just kind of stipple it like that. Stipple stipple. And then come here with the lighter color at the bottom. Or I could just have one color on at a time in each area. However, it best fits your your painting style, your ability, and go from there with it. So it's a great way just to kind of stipple stuff on, make the center. And then move on. 
very pretty glasses. So what do you think? Do you like these glasses? If you do, give me a comment yes down below. And I have a fun brush. I don't know if I said that in this video or the last one, but I have a fun brush coming that's also in this line. Well, I think it's in this line. It's from the same the same person that I buy these the uh, Dynasty brushes through. But I think I can't wait to get it. So I think it might be a fun brush to do to do scent flower centers through. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is take my lovely fine line brush. Love this brush. Dip it in my white. I'm going to go ahead and go this way. And I'm just going to go around my center and just pull these fun little frillies out from the center. Fun little brushes. As in, if you're a creative person, you will get the fact that when you find something, you, you want it all. You know, you're looking at videos and you're seeing how somebody else is doing something, like, oh, that's neat. And you want to buy all these products and brushes and paints and, oh, it's hard. Hard to not want to do that. At least it is for me, but I'm pretty sure it's it, that's the way a lot of people feel. Alright. I just, I love this brush. It's probably been, probably one of the biggest things for me to be able to do this kind of work right here. I just for some reason could never do it with a regular liner brush. But I can make it thicker, I can make it thinner, make it swirlier. It's just fun. Look at that. And you just keep turning it till you get it the way I like to kind of go one direction and just kind of sway them into each other. So just not necessarily movement, but it's not just a static one direction kind of deal. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of look around my glass, see where I need to add some more leaves because I do want to fill it in more with leaves. I could just be doing a single leaf. I could be doing multiples together. It just doesn't really doesn't really matter. But I don't really want to be doing just like a single one strokey kind of leaf. I just want to be doing the kind that I started out with. And go this direction too. Just trying to keep in mind that you know this top part, I don't want I want there to be some space for lips to not have to touch it. Again, the paint I'm using is non-toxic. So for some reason it gets painted up and somebody's lips touch it. It's not really that big of a deal, but I just try to practice not doing that if, if at all possible. And like I said, the leaves that I'm doing, I'm trying to simulate the fact that they are just they're going in different directions and there's a lot of them and in the real world there would be more of these actual flower blooms but I'm not I'm not putting them on here all right so what I did after I did this is I took the little ball making tool, clay ball making tool, and I just went around the glass just to kind of add some more color into spaces that I thought you know needed it. And it can come on here too where the leaves are, maybe in some open spaces or you know 
just like I said, basically to give it some more color. No specific pattern here. I like dots, so that, that could be my draw to that. I think they're fun to finish a glass with. And the fact that they are, I think they make it a little bit more elegant, if that makes sense. I think it's just a nice way to add to finish off a glass. At one point I was going to do more of this style of painting with dots, but then I kind of gotten away from it. No specific reason. Put some more on there. That one's kind of close. And I mean, in the center here, you could even do some around the, the center of the flower. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And these are just some basic ideas of things you can do. But I think, gosh, they're so pretty. They turned out so nicely. And I'd be like, cheers. Again, pretty, not plain, something fun to serve your guests with. If you want to give it a try, by all means do. If you don't like what you painted, remember, you can always wash it off and start again. All right, so once again, make sure that 